So I started playing around with the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor to do distance measurements. And uh, here's a quick video on what I've done. These are the only parts you're going to need. In the top left, you have an Arduino Uno. I believe it's a Rev3. In the top right, you have your HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. In between those two is a breadboard, and then you have four wires. Taking a closer look at our sensor, you can see that it has four pins. It has a five volt in, it has a trigger, an echo, and a ground. The first thing we do is send a pulse from the Arduino to the trigger pin. This generates an ultrasonic ping that goes out and hits an object and then returns to the echo pin. Since the speed of sound is relatively constant in air, we can use the time between triggering the ping and receiving that echo to calculate the distance. So let's start building this thing. Here's a basic schematic of what we're going to do. Let's start by inserting the ultrasonic sensor across four rows of the breadboard. Next, let's power our ultrasonic sensor by attaching a wire to the 5 volt out and the ground pins on the Arduino. Attach those to the corresponding pins on the HCSR04. Let's connect pin 8 on the Arduino to the trigger pin on the ultrasonic sensor. Now let's connect pin 7 on the Arduino to the echo pin on the ultrasonic sensor. Now we're ready to plug the Arduino into our computer and write some code to make this work. Let's start by making some definitions for our echo and trigger pins. We'll make echo pin 7 and our trigger pin will be pin 8. Now let's define some um, global variables here. Our duration, which will be the amount of time that our ping is out, and distance, which is what we're ultimately calculating. Let's begin our setup by opening serial port 9600. Then we'll define our pin modes for echo pin as input and pin mode for trigger pin as output. Now we will start off our main loop by ensuring that the trigger pin is on low. We'll sleep for a few microseconds to let that process, and then we will do a digital write high to our trigger pin to emit that ping. We'll do a delay to let that ping emit, and then we will close the trigger pin so it stops emitting. That way we have a 10 microsecond ping. Now that that ping has emitted, we will do a pulse in on the echo pin. It will start listening, and as soon as it hears that ping come back, it will go high. Now that we have the duration, we can calculate our distance by dividing our duration by 58.2, and this gives us our distance in centimeters. Now that we have our distance, we can print that out to our serial port 9600 so that we can see it. Now that this whole loop is finished, we'll do a delay of 50 milliseconds. Now let's save and verify our sketch, make sure it compiles properly, and make sure we're connected to our Arduino Uno board. Now let's open the serial monitor, and you can see values starting to come in. Now you can see that there are a couple of funky values. Um, I can put my hand in front of this and get it to return um, regular values. Uh, but we could definitely put some checks in here, make sure any of the outlier data is handled properly. If I move my hand too close to the sensor, you can see that it gives me some very strange readings. We can check to make sure if we get a funny return, we can handle that properly.